Hi, it's Liz here and I'd like to start by just showing you this website that I've done for one of my clients. Uh, she's a vet and this is a WordPress site and it only has the default WordPress commenting system on it. It hasn't got any add-ons or anything like that. If we go across to one of the posts she's written and scroll down we can see that a number of people have commented on this post. There are two types of comment that appear on this particular post. One comes from people who have a link back to their websites under their names and the other type of comment comes from people who don't. Notice also this particular person who has a link back to her website has a generated avatar here. We don't have something that brands this lady who clearly has a website. She hasn't gone off and got her face associated with her email address so WordPress was unable to pull her logo or her face into her comment. Now, she was savvy enough to know that she ought to link back to her site, but she wasn't savvy enough to know that she really ought to have a gravatar set up. This lady here, Fiona, hasn't got a website or didn't want to specify one when she put her comment in, and she also doesn't have an avatar either. But then maybe she hasn't got a brand online that she's concerned about. The point is, is that on any WordPress site, comments are generally available and if you go around the web leaving comments like Pet Nanny has done here there is a chance that other visitors to this site will read your comment and find you interesting enough to click on your link and discover your website. Obviously it would be better if we had some sort of branding here too because that helps us to recognize people as we travel the web. So the way the default commenting system works, if I go all the way to the bottom of these comments, is you leave your name, you leave your email, you optionally leave your website address, and you put your comment in, and your name will be linked back to your website if you put the two in. You do get people who spam you from time to time, they'll do something like this, a uh, cheap car insurance, and they'll put their website address of some cheap car insurance website and then put some completely useless comment in here at which point of course you just treat that as spam but normally a person will put their name and their website if they've got one and their email and a proper comment so if you do that enough around the web you could leave a trail of comments that ultimately lead back to your site just like Pet Nanny has here one thing I should just point out that when you do leave a comment on a site like this, as Pet Nanny has done, that comment link will often be no follow. And just to show you that, I will just uh, inspect element by right clicking on the link. And you can see here that we are linking here back to her website. That's what WordPress is doing here. But there's a rel equals external no follow which basically means that this is an untrusted link and in this case the link text is Pet Nanny and we'll talk more about link text in a further video. One last thing to point out while we're still looking at WordPress's native comment system is if you're not getting any comments at all it could be because you're stopping people from doing it so just check that if you go into settings and then into discussion have a look at your settings here and if you've got this box ticked users must be registered and logged in to comment then nobody will be able to comment on your site because they're not they haven't got usernames they can't log into your dashboard so if you've got a normal WordPress site that you just want people to come and comment on you need to take that one off